Hi. Um, I'm sorry I didn't record a video yesterday. Um, after work, I decided that I needed a new phone. It was time for me to upgrade. So, and the BlackBerry wasn't holding its charge. And, you know, it's a piece of shit after two years. So, um, I went to T-Mobile and that took like an hour and a half. But I got this shiny new phone that looks like an iPhone. It's pretty rad. Um, I'm totally in love with it. I'm charging it right now because I was dicking around with it last night when I got home. Um, I'm trying to turn it on, but it's kind of weird. I'm still trying to get used to it. Um, I downloaded the NPR News app and the This American Life app and a couple knitting apps like the Knit Counter one. And um, I think you have that one. And um, I don't know why it won't turn on. Um, and Pandora app. Um, so that's pretty awesome. I'm desperately waiting for the NPR music app to go to Android. Um, so I did that. And then after that, I went to my sister Stacy's house to go, um, visit her and Brady. We were supposed to go to first Friday, but my sister is coming down with a cold. And, um, so I was like, well, you know, um, when I had talked to her on the phone earlier, she sounded like shit. And then, um, so I was like, well, I'll come over and I'll see your pumpkin pie and I'll have some of your pumpkin pie because she's a baker also. And, um, she made this cute little crust with like pumpkins. She used like pumpkin cutouts, like along the crust. and it, Some of it broke off, but the crust she made from scratch and it was fucking amazing. But the pie filling was so rich that um when we went to dinner we left to go to dinner at 7 30 I had such severe stomach pain um which I'm sure came from the coca-cola I've been drinking all week um that we went to Olive Garden we waited 30 minutes to get seated I was in pain the whole time we sat down and got our drinks and I sat there for like 15 minutes and Brady her boyfriend kept on looking at me and he's like I just feel so bad for you because it was like so like on my face that I was like in so much pain and then I just left so and then I came home got on my jammies didn't get on the computer or anything so um long long boring story about why I didn't record a video yesterday so um yeah so that was my yesterday. I'm super jazzed about my phone. It's super cute. It's like a Samsung Galaxy. It came with Avatar preloaded on um, like a two gig, uh, like separate SD card. I had the guy pull it the fuck out. <laughs> like, he's all like, when you're bored, you can just watch Avatar. And I was all like, no, I have no interest in seeing Avatar. Get rid of it. Put my SD, because I had a one gig SD card has like 16 like gigs of memory on it and so whatever um so yeah and I enlightened the kid about knitters and how if he should ever be you know become friends with a knitter he should show them so much respect and so much love and if he ever gets a gift you know I just like handed it down to him and um he I don't know what he was then we got on the topic of Ravelry and, um, and the rubberneckers and, um, you know, mommy wank and stuff like, you know, and woolamies and, you know, how crazy people stay up until like three o'clock in the morning to get it and how much it was going. I, I, it just, and he was like, oh my God, <laughs> I have so much more respect. I was all like, yeah, you don't fuck with netters. We play with pointy sticks. We're pretty fucking, you know, you don't fuck with us. So that's always awesome to enlighten a kid about uh, knitters and uh, recent knitter culture. <laughs> um, I can't remember all the stuff I was going to say. Um, there was so much I was going to tell you. Um, yeah. Um, tell me about Rocky Horror. Um, I've never seen, like... It out in public I've just seen it at my house so that's really awesome um oh the fucking piece of shit comment yes was about Mike um Brandy had asked if you would talk to him 
And I said, no, he's a fucking piece of shit. She's completely over it and, you know, has moved on. And uh, she has no room, time, or space for that. And, um, yeah, so um, that was that. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. So um, I finished the Mike Birbiglia book. I'm reading the Lori Nataro Spooky Little Girl that I had bought, um, I don't know, um, like six months ago. Um, I'm on 60, on page 60. Yeah, I, I enjoy her essays better than I do, um, her fiction. Um, except for that one fiction book was pretty funny, but that was like semi-autobiographical, right? I think I borrowed that book from you. Um, so yeah, um, Oh, back to the whole, like, Mike thing and you being, what's making you happy is not having a boyfriend to, like, check in with and stuff like that. That's, that's really awesome. That makes me, it makes me really happy. And, um, I think you're really flourishing in Alaska, um, a way that you couldn't have here. And, um, when you were talking about how you wished, sometimes you wish you had stayed in Vegas, um, as sad as it makes me that you're not here, um, I, I know you wouldn't have been happy here. You seem really, really happy now, and you're growing, and you have amazing jobs. I, you probably wouldn't have been able to find such amazing jobs down here, and um, you're reconnecting with people, and it, the way you left Alaska, you just had so many, like, hanging threads that you, you needed to fix, and... Um, and as much as, you know, I would have loved for you to stay here and be my conjoined twin, um, I know, I knew from, like, day one that you would be better off in Alaska. So, um, yeah, that makes me, that is what's making me happy that you're so happy up there. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's really cool to, like, see videos and just you know, see you so, like, upbeat and stuff, you know, and I'm sure you have downtimes too, and, um, it's hard to convey when we do just 15 minutes and never have time, like, I, I am you, and you don't respond to me, that made me very sad, I'm sure you were busy or whatever, but, go thumbs down on that, but that's okay, I was busy yesterday at work anyway, so, and plus, the red vines were calling me. I, I need to stop compulsive eating. I don't know how. I don't know how. I think I gotta go to OA. Which makes me really, really scary, but I know will be really good for me. So we'll talk about that at a later date when I get up the nerve to go to my first twelve step. Um, yeah. Um this weekend I got like nothing going on, like at all. I don't have to be anywhere. I don't have to do anything. Um and that's kind of good. Um, I actually, the only things on my to do, to do list is I should clean, but I'm probably not gonna, um, <laughs> because why bother? And, um, I got to block the gerasol since that's finished and I got to do laundry and that's it. I'm probably just going to dick around with this phone all weekend <laughs> and become one of those horrible, obnoxious people who are always on their phone and, I, yeah, um, I'm going to be that person. Um, just read on the balcony, work on my Where the Wild Things Are sweater. Oh, it's downstairs, so I can't show you the progress. I got the edging along the bottom, and I'm starting the waist decreases. Um, I hope it turns out. I'm really quite nervous since the last time. Um, the last two times I made a sweater, they didn't come out. So the directions seem really, really good. My goodness, I am boring today. I am boring myself. Um, yeah, see, now I'm looking at my phone. I turned on my phone, and I'm looking at it. I'm I'm going to be one of those assholes. Like, I cannot... See? Look at all my pretty apps. Oh, you can't see. You can't see. You can't see. See? So pretty. Um, it's just so nice to have something shiny and new. And I got to go on a payment plan and stuff like that to pay off the phone. And, uh, because I was just going to go and get like a $10 phone and $10 Android phone, which was like hella tiny. And 
which would have defeated the purpose. I might as well have gotten a piece of shit phone, but I have to live with this phone for the next two years. So, um, yeah. What else did you talk about in your video? Um, I so miss you too. I know that's, that was apparent earlier, but I really do miss you. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, yeah. Oh, I was going to mention to you, um, I know you have access to a Netflix account um, for streaming. The Janine Garofalo stand-up just got posted. Um, totally watch it. Watch it, watch it, watch it. If you watch nothing else this weekend, watch that. It's only an hour long. Yeah, it's like an hour long fucking... <sighs> Like, you know, when in the 1990s, I wanted to be Janine Garofalo. I always wanted to be Janine Garofalo. She's so fucking rad and funny and smart and awesome. And, um, yeah, I, you'll totally, you'll totally love it. Like, I loved it. Um, she talked about how she always wears Spanx. And she, like, snaps her fucking Spanx, <laughs> like, on the microphone. It's, oh. I adore the shit out of her. So yeah, you have to watch it. You have to watch it. Promise me you'll watch it. Um, so we can just like, oh my God, she's so awesome. So yeah, I think that's all I got for now. Um, that was like 11 minutes and 30 seconds of total rambling. I had much more interesting stuff to talk about, but I just woke up and I watched your video yesterday. So, I can't remember. So, um, oh, flirting. Well, yeah, of course you were flirting when you were drunk. Um, yeah, and of course that was flirting when you were twirling his hair and stuff. Oh, just, just the motion, just like, um, but yeah, that's flirting. I could have told you that. Um, but no, like when you're sober, no, probably not. You probably don't flirt. Um, unless you are doing it in this weird way that you don't know that you're doing it and other people, I don't know. So you guys talk and have conversations in public? What do you guys talk about? Like, or do you just like say, hey, what's up? And do the Alaska, like, can't shake. Um, yeah. Oh, how's the Senate election going? How did that work out? Um, I know that that was, um, kind of weird with the write-in and stuff and there wasn't a clear winner right away. So let me know how that worked out. Um, what I have been listening to, I listened to my iPod on shuffle yesterday and realized I have a ton of awesome shit and my taste in music is exquisite. Um, yeah, there's other stuff I've been meaning to load. Um, there was something I was going to tell you to check out. What was it? I can't remember. So, um, I hope to see your face. Hope girls group went well. I hope to see you. I, I know you usually go out on Saturday nights and Sundays and have an awesome life. So, um, yeah, let me know, uh, how your weekend's going. Um, I definitely love seeing your face almost daily. That, that is the other thing I love. So I hope, I know you're much busier than I am, but I, I just hope you can like set aside like 10 minutes or whatever, just to show me your face and to show me that you're still good. Um, yeah. So I heart you so, so much. I heart you. I heart you. Hurt you. Okay. Bye.